This is the Game Gear Game Genie, and this is the regular Game Gear with, with no cartridge in it. Now, yep, someone walked into the Sega office and said, Hey, let's make the Game Gear even more bulky with accessories and accessories and accessories. We have to have money. <laughs> So, what you're supposed to do is get this little code book out, and then put in the code and for whatever game. Of course, this is limited. You have to check if you even have games that will work with this thing. I will now list all of the games that this thing, the index of games that this thing can work with, according to the front index. Alien 3, Alien Syndrome. Arch Rivals, Ariel, Disney's The Little Mermaid, Axe Battler, A Legend of Golden Axe, Arton, Senna's Superman, Echo, GP2, Batman Returns, Castle of Illusion, Star Mickey Mouse, Chican, Chase HQ, Chuck Rock, Clutch Hitter, Crystal Warriors, Devilish, Disney's Tailspin, Dragon Crystal, Factory's Panic, Fantasy Zone, G Lock Air Battle, G Force Foreman's KO Boxing, Global Gladiators, Haley Wars, Incredible Crash Dummies, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Joe Montana Football Version A, Joe Montana, Joe Montana Football Version B, Clax, Krusty's Funhouse, Land of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, Lemmings, The Lucky Dime Caper, starring Donald Duck, The Majors Pro Baseball, Ninja Gaiden, The Olympic Gold Barcelona 92, The Outrun Europea, Pac-Man, Paperboy, Pengo, Predator 2, Prince of Persia, R.C. Grand Prix, Re Re Revenge of the Dragon, Shinobi, Shinobi 2, The Silent Fury, The Simpsons, Bart vs. the Spate vs. Mittens, Slider, Sonic the Hedgehog, Version 0, Sonic the Hedgehog, Version 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Space Harrier, Streets of Rage, Super Golf, Super Off the Road, Super Smash TV, Super Space Invaders, that's one I'm going to be looking out for now. The Terminator, Tom and Jerry, Vampires, Master of Darkness, Wimbledon Tennis, Wonder Boy, Woody Pop, Woody Pop, Version B. And that's it. That's all of them. There's no more. Not even in the back. That's all the games that you can use on this thing. So you better have, hope you have one of those. Unless you have a version 2 book. This is only a version 1 book. If you have another one of these and it's a version 2, it has more games. Or you can get an extended book. Of course. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to do that? It basically helps you win the game. Of course, I have Sonic 2 here. Not one, but just two. So, yeah. Oh, yes. The Game Genie for the Game Gear and Sega Genesis and Sega Master System were all officially supported by Sega. When Nintendo decided that they didn't want anything to do with Gloob after they made the NES and possibly Game Boy Game Genies. As they thought that it would possibly ruin the game's code and ruin the user's experience. Ma making many phone calls of, my son's game won't work anymore with the Game Genie. <laughs> so, it's really Nintendo's fault. That <laughs> got S Sega in the de in the business of being able to hack their own cables. Of course, Gloob never asked permission of Nintendo, but 
what are you going to do? So let's play some Sonic 2 cheating version, of course. Uh, here we go, page 84. Okay, infinite lives, zero, zero, nine, zero, four, F. Three B E. Each ring is worth eight points. Eight, no, zero, eight, six. Five E D. Sorry, I, had to, I made a mistake. I erased one of them. Uh, 0865ED. E6E. And then, don't lose rings when hit. 3A7. 4C two A two start putting the code book back. Now the code book is a very small book, so I would recommend putting it in the back chamber every time you want to put it away, or that you're not using it, just so that way you don't lose it. Believe me. Now if I walk into just one ring, It magically says eight points instead of just one. And of course, you don't lose your rings when you die now or get hit. Ah, yes. <laughs> I really don't think I need to show Pac-Man, do I? Well, um, I suppose that's enough. <laughs>